Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm aiming to get 500 likes on this vid. You see, we got the Duke edition of the Kyrie threes. One thing interesting on the box, you can see it got that trademark sticker. Never really seen that on a pair of Nikes before. Let me know if they've done this before and which shoe. Let's check out the shoes now. As you can see, very similar to last year, except doesn't have that reflective vibe to it. And of course, majority of the upper is blue. I personally dig these Duke PEs that he's been releasing. This one especially, when I was younger, when I was really, really young, the starter jackets were so popular back in the 90s. And I had the Blue Devil starter jacket. It was so badass back in the days, just super tough. And man, I look at these, it brings me back to when I was a kid. Just vibing, hitting you with some memory lane right there. Let's get up close. As you can see, you got fuse and mesh on the upper. Your dynamic flywire latching onto the laces. You have Duke on the upper, divided into the two shoes. But let's get first into this Chanel swoosh. People either love it or hate it. I personally love it. Now, check out how they did it. Like last year's PE, real dope. DU on one shoe and then KE on the other. What's interesting on this one, they put this big ass trademark right there. And um, that's wild, man. I guess, you know, Duke ain't playing this year. They want that trademark. <laughs> but uh, regardless, I love that. I think that looks real hot. Reminds me of like the air more up tempos, like the lettering, super dope. You got your branding on the tongue. And one thing cool is on the other tongue, you got his jersey number for when he played on Duke. There's a quick look at the medial side. You got your little Chanel swoosh by the ankle. As far as the fit, I like to go true to size. I feel like these fit very similar to the Kyrie 2s. But if you have a wide foot or you like them to fit a little loose, definitely go up half the size. Quick look at the outsole. You do have Zoom Air. You have a tribute to his mother and also his daughter up top. And then you have his logo in the window, and then you have his jersey number. And there we go with a close-up HD look at the shoes right here, releasing on the 10th for $120. Let me know if you will be picking these up. Is it a pass for you? Do you hate Duke? Do you love Duke? I know a lot of people really hate Duke, or they absolutely love him. Are you a Duke fan? Let me know in the comment box below. And if you hate Duke, why do you hate Duke so much? Because some people really hate Duke. I got, like, friends and family that absolutely cannot stand Duke. Like, they, they can't stand this team. <laughs> it's wild, man. Sports is real, man. To some people, they take it really <laughs> serious. But um, let me know what you think of these shoes. Also releasing soon, these Air Jordan 6s. I did a super detailed review on them. I will do an on-foot look ASAP as soon as I get my hands on my actual size. This wasn't my size. I was just able to shoot the video for you guys, but I'm definitely aiming to get these on the release date, which is on the 11th. My personal opinion, I love them. I recommend them. Great quality. Check out the review. Definitely look for my review. Just search DJ Dell's. Air Jordan Alternate 6, or I'll probably put a pop-up somewhere on the screen to make life easy for you, but um, I personally like them. I like the hair colorway on them, because that's what I see when I see these, and also, don't forget, I'll have information on my blog on all these shoes I'm showing you, and I'll be tweeting in the morning to give you a heads up, try to help you guys out with finding these shoes. Follow my Twitter at DJ Dells and at the Sneak Addict. It's a major key. It's there to help you guys out. So, you know, take advantage of it. You're depriving yourself not taking advantage of it. There's a lot of people that's also been asking me if I think it's going to be hard to pick up. Are they going to sell out quick? It's a Jordan 6, so I can see them selling out quick. The only reason why I think that the Air Jordan 6 that was the All-Star Edition didn't sell out was some people weren't really crazy about the colorway and plus the price point was high. They wanted $225 versus these. They want $190. So I wouldn't be surprised if these sell out by the end of the day. That would be my prediction or maybe 
in like one or two days. I can't see them selling out instantly, but I wouldn't sleep on it. Any sneaker you really want, do not sleep on, you know, oh, I'll get them later because it's not worth it. It's not worth risking, you know, not getting them if you want them badly. And of course, these will be coming out real soon. I did a detailed look on them, the Air Jordan Motorsport 4s. Watch that review, really, really get in depth with it. I talk about the quality of the shoe, the craftsmanship, them not having the Motorsports logo on it, which some people hate. Some people love it because it, you know, determines which model it is, the OG or this 2017 retro. So it's a pretty cool video. Definitely read the comments on that vid. I just released a review on these also, the Silver Surfer Foam Posits. I get into a super detailed look once again, show you guys everything on the shoe, and um, definitely watch this review. It's up now, and I'm planning on doing a review on these soon, depending on how many people really want this. So if you want me to review this shoe, like tell me, like I need this ASAP. These release also tomorrow. Nike's releasing a lot of like college inspired shoes. These are the Oregons, by the way. Let me know if you want me to review these Kobe's. And then also we've got these KD's right here. This is the Texas colorway, another college colorway. Let me know if you're interested in me doing a detailed review on these. And I got you. I'm aiming for at least 500 thumbs ups on this video and um, as soon as I get that I'll definitely get right to work and start you know doing more reviews I may knock out a bunch today we got these black cat 31s that haven't released it's weird how they didn't release them with the sixes when they did the black cats or the 13s but these will be releasing it's a pretty plain shoe but it got little cool details this shoe's coming out next month and um, I'm definitely aiming to do a review on these soon too. This is that Asia exclusive from back in the days, but they're actually releasing it in men's sizes now. At first they only had it in grade school, and a lot of people were like, dude, why would you not release this in men's sizes? And now they're finally releasing it in men's sizes in 2017 versus the GS sizes where last year they released. This is another Kyrie releasing next month, and um, once again, if you guys want me to review shoes, like certain ones, just let me know which one you want me to review first. Make a list, even top three. Maybe I'll do all three today. This is a new Jordan 12 low, gray, micro perforations throughout the upper. Definitely an interesting take on this shoe. And I personally like it, but I do not like Jordan 12 lows. But I think it's well executed. It looks pretty nice in person. Let's get back to these though. This is the main focus right here. These Duke Kyrie 3s. Let me know what you think of them. I will be posting tons of information on the blog, thesneakeraddict.com in the morning. So go to my blog in the morning at 9 a.m. or even earlier and I'll have tons of info to help you guys out if you're planning on getting these. And also, I will be tweeting away on my Twitter, as I was saying. My Twitter, at DJ Dells and at The Sneak Addict. Whenever I hear about restocks, sneaker news, anything regarding sneakers, it's always being tweeted, real time. Take advantage of it. And if you're not taking advantage of it, you're missing out because I'm doing this to help you guys out. So take advantage of it. Thanks for watching today's video. Tons of content that's up as you've seen already and I'm planning on releasing more. I have a lot of free time today so I don't mind putting out a ton of content today but I just don't want videos getting lost in the sauce. I've released so much in the past 48 hours already. I think I released like four videos so if you haven't seen them definitely check them out YouTube. I'm having issues with right now they're not informing all of my subscribers and it's really messing up my channel because I have over hundred and forty thousand subscribers and probably like five thousand of them are getting notified and others don't even like get notified at all I ran into someone at the mall yesterday and they thought I stopped doing YouTube videos because they don't get notified anymore and I literally showed them like all the videos I did and they were really like annoyed like that you know, they haven't been getting notified. Like, they thought that I literally stopped doing YouTube. They said they go on their YouTube and I'm not even in their feed, you know? 
and that sucks like that really sucks I contact YouTube so many times they say they're working on it they're working on it or they ignore my emails in the past come here every single day I have videos here every day I love sneakers this channel is called the sneaker addict obviously for a reason I love these damn sneakers I'm always gonna be into shoes but um you know I want to put out videos and I'm just showing you guys like showing you all these shoes like I want to do all this right now but I don't want to have my content already released lost in the sauce so you know show that support that thumbs up hit the thumbs up as I said if I get over 500 likes I'll put another video and then after that I'll put another video if I get another 500 likes I'll put out like seven videos today man I don't care I'll, I'll do them all today if I have time like just show that support and I'm um, talking your ear off thanks for watching subscribe if you're new and we are out <laughs>